Hello, and uh, welcome back. Right, um, for those of you who are new to this, um, this is a tutorial-based research channel. Sounds quite cool. Um, right, okay, just to get a few things uh, out of the way, I'm using um, GIMP 2.10 something or another, which is the interface you can see now. Um, and I use a graphics tablet um, to do the work with, uh, which will explain itself really as we go along. Okay, um, for those of you who have seen this stuff before, um, this guy helps out greatly. Um, and also I would suggest um, downloading a instruction manual for GIMP and using it in a PDF browser program or whatever you can get open source ones that are free so um yeah I would try that if um if I were you, I were you yeah okay right uh today we are going to be looking at this area which is uh Lavinia area on Venus um this is the photograph um, from the Magellan mission which um, doesn't say here I've got a few things to go through so I, I suggest uh, pause and have a read because it'll all be relevant um, here's on the history um, so have a read of that Here's the logo, there you go, 89 to 94. Um, there's a bit about the geography of um, Venus. Um, Habability. Um, so give all this stuff a read, pause it, give it a read. Um, now this as well, uh, Venera, uh, Venera 13, it was the Russian stuff. that went there a long time before these missions. Um, in fact, 81, and I read somewhere it started around about 75. So, um, yeah, there's been a lot of um, research on this this planet. Now, this I want you to have a look at. Uh, in I talk about perspective and the way you have to look at the... It's the angle that the photographs are taken from, and this sort of semi explains how this is going this is quite interesting though they they actually put a ground um computer system on the surface and uh it's like a bouncy back type sort of thing like that but it gives you an idea of how, how we're looking at right okay this is the image now for those of you who are um having a go at this um, and researching this, this is a must, and I'll explain. I'll explain why. Okay, so let's just run through the normal stuff. This is the original image. Um, okay, so if we go in there, it's like oh, noise, 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 pixelation, pixelation. Okay, so um, then you're going through your other processes, which I've explained. Um, <coughs> excuse me in the first tutorial which is in two parts because I made a mess of it um, right and regards to new tutorials coming I'll be showing you how to chop these up if your computer can't handle it um, I had to do that with um, this one because it's actually coming in at 40 megabyte and you think that's going to be massive and you wouldn't have actually have to do a lot to it but it doesn't work like that it's um and i don't know i was explaining it comes in really weird you see look 273 starting at 40 so either it's compression from their end or the um gimp program is bumping it up with its own um i'm not entirely sure about that but um just go with it 
you need to do this one and I and I will show you I will explain why um, God I sound a bit nervous today um, don't know why but anyway okay so you read all that stuff and let's get into it. this is a 1.3 gig this is what I've blown it up to and it seems to work all right so um, this map as a whole um, sorry to jump around uh, here we go um, 550 kilometers by 500 kilometers um, if my mass is right and I have um, that equates to 275,000 square kilometers now um, New York has the largest sort of land area um, built up land area space where which is about 9,000 square kilometers so this is 275,000 square millimeters um, kilometers so anyway I've chopped it in half so I can bump it up and get rid of the pixelating until it's up here and I don't tend to work at that level any oh did you see something then now just gonna go back to this one now when I was initially looking at it I thought it looked really cool and then I realized the scale so they were just um, geological patterns and stuff through here and stuff and then I thought oh no it's really poor quality it's not brilliant anyway I thought this is really poor quality loads of noise you see that looks like noise but on closer inspection which I normally do um, <clears throat> I noticed it before I'd blown it up so um oh how how to start um i think the only way let's just go to an area i know i haven't had a look at um let's let's start right here um <clears throat> now can you see anything straight off um i can see this 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 it yeah, could be anything now i want you to focus on this noise and you'll you'll realize why you have to um, download this image say pause have a study look at it like this I mean uh, I'm looking at it on a 32 inch screen I'm not quite sure something like that not overly big but um, so here you go for you for the phone phone viewers the closer you get in and this is quite a good size anyway you can see it's not doesn't look like noise anymore <clears throat> and to me it looks very familiar indeed if you've seen any other videos you'll know where I'm coming from when I say that so I'm just gonna have a look look at this this is just oh hold on um, stopwatch However, however long this one takes, um, I haven't done a huge amount of work on this because I thought um, <clears throat> what happens with this, because it's, as you will see, so dense, I thought it would be nicer to just randomly choose some areas and uh, do a little bit of work on it. And that's what we're going to do. So let's look at this area because there's a bit of a, 
a cluster here. We full screen. It's all right. I'm learning new bits and bobs. Look, I think I've sussed this one out as well. That's the move tool. Look at that. Bit of smoothness going on there. Yeah, right. Anyway. Um, okay, let's just have a look in this cluster here. You can see if you look up here, you can see where we are on the map. So, um, and remember the map is 500, 500 kilometers across. Okay. Right. So, I, and there, there, this is a really good exercise for you guys as well. <clears throat> Do excuse me. Um, so, anything that sticks out. Oh look, there's one of those. Um, little. Diamond. You get triangular ones. Type sort of platforms. As you can see now, this noise is looking less and less like noise. And more and more like what we are familiar with and, and the reason why we're here. So, um, I'm just going to quickly, which is a good exercise as well, um, if we go back to here, it says, um, 28, God, I can't even read that, my eyesight's so bad, 28 to 78 degrees, um, Yeah, so these are um, microwave pulses per second. I so see you can read it anyway. Well, it, it's uh, I don't just think it's a normal um, photograph. Sorry, I've thrown this together. I don't know for sure, but it's it's there to be read anyway. So just remember, um, we're looking at it at an angle. Now you can see there it is starting to pixelate um, so what were we at? Oh, 1.3 um, 1.3 1 1 uh, image size we're at 24,000 see that's quite a lot of pixels Um, oh dear me right I'm not going to bother with that right cancel this is good enough for the um, for the uh, showing you anyway so this noise is looking fairly um like we're let's take this point that's the furthest point then it goes down slightly out down out, out, and so on and so forth um, you know these terrace like sort of uh, instructions uh, 
Now, you think, you think, what is he doing? What is he doing? Well, this is one thing running across here. And there's a dark line underneath it. And to me, it looks like there's uh, something underneath it. So as you can see, there's like, um, let's call them supports for hearsay. Okay. And with this, you can use a bigger... But it gets so busy and so confusing very quickly. So keep it little. Just go down and have a look at that. What I would do to this is burn it. You don't need it. Burn the highlight. Just makes it easier on the eyes. To look at. When I'm jumping around, I'm just moving to places which catch my eye, basically. And if you are do, if you are having a go at this, um, do that, especially on this photo. So, very odd looking noise. Um, Let's, uh, where should we go, where should we go, over, over here, looks all quite plain. Yes. Okay. Let's make that a bit bigger. Okay. Can I see anything? Can I see anything? Uh, yes. I was going to say the whole lot. Just going to highlight a few bits here and there, and then see if you can. Um, See if you can work anything, uh, see anything basically. When I was doing the, um, the Mickey Mouse Mercury one, when I found those unusual grid-like uh, shapes, I did not a massive amount of research, but I had a look into to noise and, and pixel anomalies and, and how they work. Um, <clears throat> and uh, there's no way, well, there's only one thing that, that could have um, um, be anything like this, but it's it, it's not at all. But it, it it's it's software that's applied to um, 3D.
3D graphics, um, and it can generate its own anomalies. It's for, used for for um, texturing and stuff. Um, but if you've watched the other videos, or you think I'm tripping at the moment, um, and you haven't watched the videos, then go and watch the videos. Okay, this is a good level to look at stuff. Okay, I'm going to try this trick again. And, oh no. Ah, here we go. So apart from the burning I've done pre to enlarge the image, I haven't touched any of this. So from what I've just showed you, So it's the same, shall we, let's just call it noise for the time being. It's not noise, basically. as usual has form, direction, purpose, shadows, front, top, sides, if you are new to this and you're wondering what the hell I'm doing here <clears throat> This is the only real way I think you can tune into um, to see what I'm discovering or highlighting right, rather on these pictures because it's all there as far as I'm concerned. And you see this here. Just follow it along. Now there are a few places on this map where the quality is different I and mean, I'm going to show one of the, I did crop a couple of areas which I found I'd already done. So we are going to have a look at those. Um, <clears throat> okay. And this is the first part as well which is uh, dodge um, highlights. It's quite hard on this, that's just what the, the photograph requires. Else it wouldn't be pulling the, um, the highlight. Um, that's the lighter pixels. Out of the image very quickly. Um, right, so you can see stuff starting to appear. Good idea to keep an idea, you know, see where I am on the map. Now, <laughs> I, w I would, uh, w I haven't found, shall we say, any open space, any open ground yet. It's all this. Um, 
which is quite phenomenal and this is why I've written 275,000 square kilometers of I haven't decided yet um, uh, what to call them structures Now, if that is the case, then um, whoever or whatever um, is there is um, Densely populating planet Venus. So, everything I'm showing you now um, well, no one's seen. Well, not no one, obviously, but um, I'll try and pick out prominent things that I see, but it's not the case with this image. I mean, it is over there, and that's why I recommend you downloading this one because you will not have any problems with um, it's not like some of the others I've done where you literally have to pull it out of nothing this is all there it's all there right in front of your face so all these lines and stuff now Start taking on a different um, what is that? In these areas I would like I did before. I burn them. Highlights. Easier on the eye, easier to, because basically you'll be using highlights, so that it's dark, it doesn't matter, they're going to get lighter again. Back onto Dodge. These areas are obviously a lot more difficult to work on. Um, see that sticks out as well.
Okay. <clears throat> now, I got straight into the center of the mat, and that's what I found straight, straight off. Low it. Like I say, pause, check it out <coughs> for yourself. See what you can see. So you can see the, the direction and the design slowly coming into it. Like I say, I haven't had a, a proper look around. It's because it, it's, it, it, in fact, it's a very daunting hat. There's so much to do on it. See this through here. We'll just stick that on a Tell me what you think this stuff is. Let's see. What I can tell you is that I've been all over the whole map, the other half included. And it's like this across the whole thing. Um Don't know what to say, really.
Right, you could spend weeks and weeks and weeks working on this image. And like I say, I mean, if you are new to this and this does look a bit vague or you probably would have turned off by now, but if you haven't, check the other videos and you will understand where I'm coming from and uh, what I'm looking at. It's not complicated. <coughs> Excuse me, it's not complicated. Um, and this is... Uh, sort of what can be a little bit uh, what would you say a bit scary really so what information this photograph is giving me is saying to me that this small area of Venus, which is, the, I think it's just slightly smaller than Earth, um, if these are constructions, buildings, um, of sorts, uh, then it is far surpasses anything here on Earth. See this? Like a platform area. I've spoken about these before, I've pointed them out before. There's two platform areas with what look like towers of some description coming out of the top. This area here. <clears throat> yeah, good exercise on this, because you don't have to worry too much about um, chopping and changing the uh, the tools. Not at this stage, anyway. Okay, right, so let's, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm sure you were wondering about, these are apparently meteorite impact craters, and this one uh, is uh, 30 mile, Diameters ranging from 37 to 50 kilometers, so that's the biggest one. 50 kilometers, yeah, there you go. 50 kilometers, it's mind boggling. I know, I know. Um, I can tell you all this is the same as um, you can see had a little delve in here so let's, let's go to the top of the crate here don't know what's there top of the crater now on that uh, on the Algar crater I did on on Mars I was talking about the edges of things and how they are not the edges of things. Let's just have a look. In fact, look at that there. Have a quick look at this area. 
then I'll show you some crops which I did a long time ago. Um, where are we at? 31. Oh, uh, um, So this is a very unfinished map, so it's not eye-bogglingly interesting. The point I'm making is the sheer density of uh, what's going on in this in this image. I remember we were right on the edge of the uh, crater here. I'm going to move across a little bit. This looks quite. This is cool. Look at this. You see this? Taking that into consideration, just have a look around. What's this? So, just one pass with this tool. Um, because it's only working on the uh, the highlight, the lighter pixels. What's left behind helps to in, enhance it immediately. <clears throat> and that's how it works. You can see, I'm not, I'm not drawing. You can see the shapes. It's just defining them. absolutely everywhere that is a false all this is just carries on through 
that's been darkened. All it is genuine shadow. But I mean, I can do it. I can do it with this, right? I'll show you. I've probably done this before. Now, if you didn't know I'd just done that, you wouldn't know. What is this? Oops. As I normally say, uh, this will be ongoing. I will be working on this, but highly recommend. Um, downloading this image and uh, if you are experimenting with this research then uh, go for it it's uh, you won't fail on this any problems um, in the uh, comments uh, I'll help you as best I can so This is not geological. It's everywhere, guys. But I haven't even seen this stuff. You always work in the dark areas first. You don't have to search on this image. It is <clears throat> the whole image, which is what, 200, and, no, 100, and whatever it is. Um, right, okay, let's, uh, I'm going to show you, a, this is a crop, I'm not entirely sure what area it's from, I think it's somewhere around here. Uh, where were we? Right, and this is how busy it gets, and this is where it does get confusing. Um, this was done in, in a in a different program. I'm just gonna have a look at that. size is this? See this is still very small. I'll show you how to crop um, crop images. Now if you're unsure about something and uh, your computer's struggling, what I've done is uh, I'll just crop a small area to work on and see see if it's worth it or, or see how far I can take it. Boy, you look at the image. It's almost like with squinted eyes. Can you see this? Running through. It's up here. There is another section which runs off through here. It's like a circular platform, tube, um, however you'd like to call it. It's 
see. There's another one. I'm just looking at a complete and utter jumble of I'm not you need to concentrate on it like I say if you don't understand look at the other videos as well um, this is going to run on a little bit but um, this is a tiny crop of that what looks like noise surface and uh, it isn't see the blurred areas look at this Okay, um, this, okay, is this area here. Yeah, I think I've done a little bit on here. not as good quality in this area but there's so much going on um, and I totally understand that people just haven't got a clue what I'm looking at but it's something you have to uh, just get used to simply This has been quite mashed up, as you can see, it's like a, looks very square, rectangular looking thing going on here. Probably find that a bit easier. Densely, densely occupied. Size of this image, it's not even that large.
bad quality through here. Okay. Um, I could go on and on with this one. Um, it's uh, wherever we go, wherever you go. Can you just pause what I'm doing now. I still keep seeing things on uh, YouTube and uh, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking Well, I know what I'm looking at, but I just don't. It's so hard to make out. And I basically haven't done anything to this. Anyone who does this sort of work, get on this image. Um... It's just, uh, well, it's, it's, one of, it's an unbelievable one, again. Look guys, wherever I go. Okay, eyes closed. Check it out. Check it out. It's uh, insane. Um, okay, we'll be coming back to this one. Um, and I will be doing a tutorial hopefully later today. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. It made a bit of sense. Um, uh, Apologies if it's not completely and utterly in your face, um, but uh, it, it's just more of a, um, if you're doing, if you're, if you're trying the research, then get hold of this image, um, it, it won't fail to amaze you um, with very, very little work. Um, okay, nice one. Um, thanks again, and uh, I'll see you all soon.